there everybody how's it going thanks for joining me live and if you're hopping on um, a little bit later or if you are watching the replay i'm so glad that you're here i have just started doing facebook lives i've done a few in my private group um i still get a little bit nervous so Sometimes you'll see me moving around a little bit, and I am using some notes. So if you see me looking away, I'm uh, looking at my notes to make sure that I'm staying on track and that um, I don't get too distracted, <laughs> falling down some rabbit hole or something crazy like that. So I would love to have you guys interact with me as much as possible. That will be super fun. Um, Let's see, the first thing that I would love for you to do is in the comment section, let me know what state you're watching, I almost said calling from, <laughs> what state you're watching from and what your job is. Even if you're on the replay, I would love to still see uh, where you are watching from, what your job is. I get notifications when people make comments in there, so, um, I would love to go back and read through that and see what it is. So I am coming to you from Western Wisconsin and I am a full-time flight paramedic. The agenda today is to go over the weight loss basics and then I'll teach you how you can apply them to the holidays and then we will create a holiday protocol. Now there is a special bonus at the end. Well, it isn't even a bonus at the end. You can just look in the description and see the link to the freebie that I created. It's a healthy holiday action plan. It's um, just basically a couple pages of a worksheet to kind of help you with the holidays and to create the best plan, thinking ahead of time and making your plan from there. Who's worried about gaining weight this holiday season? get a hand raise right we all seem to get really worried about gaining weight on the holidays hi Jeff who's worried about gaining weight on the holidays most of us are what we do is we catastrophize the holidays by thinking about all the things that we have to do the work all of the treats and everything that's gonna be everywhere and we start to worry about it and then what we say and earmuffs for small kids because I do curse a little bit but we all basically not everybody but most of us just say well fuck it like we are either all in or we're all out and then we just resort to gaining weight during the holiday season the problem with this is come the first of the year and we have to get on the scale for work for our quarterly weigh-ins right then we feel so terrible about our weight and how much gain how much weight we gained and what I want to do is create awareness so that you don't have to get like that towards the first of the year. Now, I'm not saying we should necessarily lose weight this time of year, right? But what I want you to do is to make sure that you stop gaining weight, right? And then we can lose weight from there. I want you to have that piece of paper and I want you to just think for a minute, like how many events do you really have this holiday season, right? We've only got about 30-ish days <laughs> we only have about 30-ish days for this upcoming holiday season. And so I want you to really sit and think for a second, like how many events do you really have? How many parties, social events, things like that do you actually have to go to? For me, when I sat and thought about it, it's about nine. Now, I don't know if I'm actually going to go to nine, but that's how many that I do have. That also includes my working. When we think about these holidays and all this stuff that we have, we feel overwhelmed, right? And we catastrophize all of it. I'm just saying we don't need to do that this year. We can slow down, make a plan, and follow the weight loss basics. A little bit about me in case you're new to me. My name is Valerie Besslin and I'm a full-time flight paramedic part-time life and weight loss coach specializing in EMS and HEMS. Now, I've been in EMS since 1995, and I've been flying since 2001, and I lost 50 pounds while still working my amazing dream job. So I kind of know a thing or two about losing weight in this industry and all of the common obstacles that we face. The first thing I want to teach you 
is the weight loss basics. Now listen, these things are super easy. They're super simple. But what makes them simple also makes them simple not to do. So I'm going to just kind of teach you what each of these mean, and then I'm going to figure out, or not figure out, I already know, <laughs> how you can apply it to the holidays. And then on the second page, we are going to create a holiday protocol, the weight loss basics, a 24-hour plan. Now, this doesn't have to be 24 hours. It could just be the night before or the morning of. This is deciding what you're going to eat ahead of time. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, like, I don't know what's going to be at the party. I don't know what they're going to be serving. Okay, you probably have a pretty good idea if you're going to Thanksgiving, what is going to be on the menu. Don't fall into this confusion and catastrophizing that you don't know what is going to be on the menu. Okay, tell yourself the truth here. If you're like me, I'm 48 years old. I've been going to a lot of Thanksgivings. I know exactly what is going to probably be there. I do most of the cooking, so I get to decide. But if you go someplace, you have a very good idea of what's going to be there. You can make the plan very simple. I'm going to have some meat. I'm going to have some vegetables. And I might have a dinner roll. And I'm going to have a dessert. Right? It doesn't have to be overcomplicated. The next thing is eat two to two and leave two. You might be curious, what does this even mean? If you're eating three meals per day, which I recommend, you want to eat at a minus two and stop eating at a plus two, and you want to leave two bites behind. Now, for myself and most of my clients, we eat four to four and leave two. That's eat at minus four, stop eating at a plus four. Now, this is based on a tool I teach called the hunger and fullness scale. Real quick, I'll just teach it to you real quick. It's a linear line. On the left side is minus 10 or the hunger side. On the right side is the positive or the fullness side. And right in the middle is neutral. So I suggest you eat when you feel a minus two. So that's just like the faint whisper of hunger, right? 10 is like the most intense hunger you've ever felt. Over there on the plus side, a plus one is just that feeling past satisfied, and a plus 10 is like, ooh, got to lean back because I ate way too much, right? So it's different for everybody, and you have to find what works best for you and how you feel at each one of these. And, you know, it's going to take a little bit of overeating, getting a little over hungry, and then you want to leave two bites of food behind because here's the truth, my friends. The reason why you're overweight is because you're overeating. You're eating more food than your body requires for fuel. So if we want to lose weight, we got to stop overeating. A good way to help prevent this is to leave a couple bites behind. And I also recommend that you don't eat super distracted. Don't be eating while you're in front of the television, while you're listening to a podcast, or when you're reading a book, okay? Just get in to your body and see where you're feeling. So how this relates to the holidays is even though you don't know what's possibly going to be on the menu, you still have the opportunity to only eat to a plus two. You don't have to force yourself to eat. Even if your aunt makes you pie and she says, I made this just for you, right? You can say thank you and then maybe not eat all of it. Okay, you don't have to overeat. That's in your control One. 100%. Nobody's holding you down, pouring the eggnog down your throat, right? No, you have control. You get to decide how much food you put into your body. The next one is water. Listen, water is fat burning fuel. You need to be drinking a lot of water, 80 to 128 ounces, actually, which I know seems like a lot. Speaking of water, why don't we all just Grab a quick sip. Okay, I talk really fast and I talk a lot. <clears throat> so, sorry about that. So, okay, drink the water. Now, during the holidays, your water intake is very important for many, many reasons. I think that I talk about it during the holiday protocol, but I also want to mention here that staying hydrated, 
is super important during the holidays, right? Because we're eating a lot of foods we don't normally eat. There could be a lot more sodium in there. And we want to prevent that bloating um, and the swelling of the fingers. But having a lot of water and drinking that is really, really good for you. Um, the best way to do that during the holidays, right, is to find some like different water that you don't normally drink. Maybe get some sparkling, unflavored, unsweetened water and drink that more often than you normally would. Substitute out a soda or make sure you're drinking water in between having cocktails. The next weight loss basic is movement. Now, I'm not necessarily saying exercise here either because movement is just getting out there and doing something really good for your body. Exercise does not usually result in weight loss. Now, listen, it can for some of you. I totally get that. But for a lot of us, we can exercise all the time, but it takes so long to see the results and that we usually give up on ourselves before we reach the results of weight loss when it comes to exercising. So I just want you to move because it feels good for your body, because it helps you sleep better at night, right? And because it gives you some quiet time, maybe yourself so it's super important you can find time <laughs> during the holidays I still seem to find time um, even in Wisconsin where it snows and is crappy out a lot of the time and it's dark at like 4 30 <laughs> so just a couple you know minute walk every day is awesome and your body really needs it okay and then the final thing is sleep now if you're in EMS and HEMS I know you're probably rolling your eyes at me <laughs> I know we're chronically sleep deprived. We live in this sleep debt status, but it doesn't have to be that way. I really teach everybody, and I work super close with my clients on this, on protecting and prioritizing your sleep. When we are tired, we are more crabby. We are more hungry because of our hormones are out of balance. And we feel much more fatigued, and we don't make really good decisions. So. Protect and prioritize your sleep, even during the holidays, right? You have to take care of yourself. We're so busy taking care of everybody around us that we always forget ourselves. We have to stop doing that. Tell me in the comments hello. Even if you're on the replay, what holiday you are working this year, if you're working at all. Maybe some of you lucky people don't have to work on the holidays, but I do. My husband is also a flight paramedic. And we have three kids, two boys in high school and a daughter in middle school. And this year, we're both working Christmas, which is kind of a bummer, but, you know, it teaches our kids some really good lessons. So I would love to hear what holiday you are working this year. I'm off Thanksgiving and then um, off New Year's. So yay for that. Okay, so um, the next thing I want to talk about is the holiday protocol. Now... I was having some technical difficulties right before we went live on my, my little thing here. So hold tight while I remove this. That was fun. Just put that over there. Pardon the noise. Okay. Okay, good. You can read it. <laughs> Yay. Um, okay, so the holiday protocol. Now, this one is based off of also doing the weight loss basics. And then you can grab your piece of paper and your pen, right, and write down if you wanna use these things, if you want to create your own protocol. So when I work with clients one-on-one, -on -one, we work on advanced weight loss tools. So we work more about your hormones and your neurotransmitters and your brain processing and managing emotions and really having a lot of self-integrity. And so we also work on creating an eating protocol. Now we're gonna have a holiday protocol. So this time of year can be very stressful for a lot of us, but some ways that we can combat this stress is by meditating, which I highly recommend everybody do. You can go grab um, an app like Insight Timer, Pop in your earbuds and find over a million options over there on um, Insight Timer on how to manage your stress, do guided meditation. It's super important. The other way to help mitigate stress, honestly, is planning. I talk about planning all the time. If you watch any of my 
Facebook Lives in the private group or if you read any of my blogs, I do talk a lot about planning and how important it is. But planning all of your things and getting them actually on your calendar, super important. That helps reduce the stress because we're not trying to keep it all in our brain and we're actually getting out there and doing it. Another um, way to manage your stress is journaling or what I like to call a thought download. So that's where you just take a piece of paper and you write down all of the thoughts that are going on in your brain. Did you know that we have between like 60 and 70,000 thoughts per day? Not all of them are amazing. <laughs> so write it down. Don't edit yourself. It doesn't have to be a story. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just Grab one of the kids' old crappy notebooks that they brought home from school last year and just start writing in there. You can throw it away or shred it or do whatever you want with it. You don't even have to go back and look at it for it to be beneficial. Just getting it out on paper is so helpful. Um, another way to manage your stress, of course, is to exercise, go for a walk. And if you feel really stressed out, I really recommend that you actually don't listen to anything while you're on this walk or working out. Really just sit with your own thoughts and hear what you're thinking and realize like where all of the stress is coming from. It's your thoughts, by the way. <laughs> um, so kind of take a break. I normally listen to podcasts or audiobooks when I um, go for walks or when I exercise. And during this time of the year, I really try to limit that because I just want to stay really focused on what my main goal is. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is a drink plan. Now, I don't hear that I've been doing this life coaching thing. I don't think I've talked about a drink plan. This is something that I work with on myself and with my coach is drinking. Now, in the holidays, we usually drink a little bit more than we normally do. So what I'm saying is create a plan about how much you're going to drink ahead of time. We do this with the power of our prefrontal cortex, that part of our brain that makes decisions and can think about our long-term goals, not our primitive brain, right, which lives in the moment, wants instant gratification, and generally doesn't make very good decisions in the moment. Kind of like a toddler having a temper tantrum sometimes. So now be realistic. Start with where you're at. Don't put that you're going to have two drinks and then you're at the holiday party and you have seven. Okay, that's not good because then you're obeying your primitive brain. We don't want to do that. If you think four drinks or six drinks is really where you're at, put that on your plan and then drink that or, of course, less if you want to. But don't go over that. Make a commitment to yourself knowing that you made that decision with the power of your brain. So for me right now, the, where I'm at in my life, my I have a two drink maximum. Now every once in a while, of course, I make a plan for more and I follow that plan. But for the most part, if I am going to drink, it's two drinks max because this I can guarantee you, you will thank yourself in the morning if you follow your plan, right? All right, next on the list is no snacking. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee if anybody else wants to have a break and have a sip. <laughs> okay, so no snacking. I know, it's the holidays, there's snacks everywhere, but if you want to not gain weight this holiday season, my friend, you've got to not snack. Snacks are just meals. And if you have weight to lose, you do not need a snack. You may want a snack, but you don't need one. As one of my teachers and um, coaches says, snacks are like fertilizer for a fat ass. Don't do it. Just don't snack. Snacking is usually for an emotional reason too, right? We're trying to avoid something. We're feeling stressed out. We're bored. We're lonely. We're tired, right? This is so big in our industry right? We're tired. The first thing that our brain suggests when we're tired is like, you got to eat something. You need a little something, right? Don't fall for it. You don't need it, right? The number one thing we need to be eating, right? If we want to lose weight is our own body fat. So snacks are not necessary. I'm sorry. I know they're just mini meals and they really cause our weight problems. All right. So then the next thing I want you to do is to create your absolute nose. 
now this might sound a little weird, but <clears throat> you know how like you go to the holidays and like somebody has like packaged cookies. There's nothing wrong with bringing packaged cookies. I'm not saying, don't hear me say that. But if I have the option of having say homemade peanut blossoms or, you know, I, don't, I can't even think of a like an Oreo, holiday Oreo or a candy cane Jojo. There, that's more like it. I want to choose the homemade cookie. Right? Really decide what you're going to say no to. I like to say, I'm going to say no to shit food this week. Like, I'm not eating canned anything, processed, frozen. Those are no's. If I'm going to put something in my body, it's going to be something I love, something that I really want, right? That I've decided that I'm going to eat, not some crap. Like, say you're working, right? And we go to the hospital and the break rooms are full of holiday treats. Like, do you really want to eat that old, nasty, peppermint bark-covered pretzel? <laughs> no. Wait until later and have something you really want, right? Your brain just wants that quick instant gratification, that quick hit of dopamine. You don't need it. Really be committed, and every bite deserves to be in your body around the holidays, right? So everybody loves talking about no snacking. Um, okay, so then... The other one is future focus. So what does this even mean? <laughs> you might not have ever heard about this before, but so what future focus is, instead of kind of being in this moment, think about how you will feel the next day. Do you wanna feel regret and disappointment that you didn't follow your plan, that you drank too much, that you overate, right? How do you wanna feel the next day? I like to wake up feeling proud of myself and that, I said no to the things that didn't, you know, get me more closer to my goal or go even farther. Think about January 1st. Do you want to be sitting there feeling regretful for all of the indulging that you did during the holidays? And for what? Because you thought it was going to make you feel better? Listen, the food doesn't make you feel better. And the holidays are not about the food. Food has one job, and that is to give fuel to your body. Food is not entertainment. What we want during the holidays is usually connection, connection with our family and our friends, maybe even our coworkers. Food is not that. Food is just neutral, and it provides fuel for our body. So think about the future. How do you want to feel in a month from now, in two months from now? Use that feeling to motivate you to follow your plan, to stay committed, to create a holiday protocol. Think about that. I love thinking about the future. And speaking of those meditations, there's a lot of meditations about creating the future that you want because your future is completely up to you. You get to create your future by the actions you take right now. And then finally... I want you to have fun, right? Like I said, the holidays are not about the food. It's about the fun. It's about the connection. Really see if you can connect to what the holidays mean to you. How do you want to feel? How do you want to engage with your family and your um, loved ones, right? Just have fun. If it's not fun, don't do it. All right. There you have it. Now you can ask me any questions if you would like. I would love to answer some questions live. And if you are on the replay, you can also ask me questions because like I said, I do get alerts and I can answer your questions there. Two more things. Number one, if you're not in my private Facebook group, I would love for you to join. All you have to do is um, go to my business page and click on the link that says join the community. Now, I do ask some questions and I make sure that everybody that is in the group is either in the HEMS or EMS industry. And if they're not, then I actually know them and I've invited them to be there. I get, I don't know, five or six requests every single day from people from all over the world to join, which is kind of weird. And they don't answer the questions. And I, I can tell by looking at their profile that they're not in our industry. And so I just don't want them in there. I want to protect that group, right? And I want to keep us um, in the community together. And then if you want to grab this 
free healthy holiday action plan that I created just for you. You can get there by clicking the link. I think it's up in the description or you can go to my website, uh, hemscoach.com forward slash holiday action plan. When you sign up for that, you'll give me your name and email. I'll give you the PDF right away, and then you get put into my email list, and I send out weekly, a couple weekly emails. Um, you know, it varies. I still work full time, so sometimes I miss a week. Um, but when you get the holiday action plan, you will get three emails from me just kind of checking in, seeing what you're thinking, and I would love to hear what you think about it. And of course, let me know if I made any typos. <laughs> I like to say I'm a medical person. I don't know how to do all of that stuff, but I'm learning it. I'm having fun doing all of this. I plan on doing um, a Facebook Live every week in the private group. I'm still deciding how much I want to do from my business page. Um, it seems a little scarier <laughs> doing it with all of the world. Facebook world to be able to watch it. I like it in the group. You know, there's only about right now, I think there's about 200 people in there. So anyways, I would love to see you in the group. I'd love to hear from you what you think of this. If you have any questions, if not, then I guess we'll sign off. If you're in Wisconsin, it was the deer opener this weekend. I hope that you got a big, got a big buck, shot a big buck. I don't know, but I will hopefully see you all very soon. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you later. Bye.